Hey guys, it's Dustin. Today we're going to take a look at the WP25. Alright guys, we're back. Um, continuing on with the WP25 demo here. So now I've got the WP25 in a 20 long. Um, we'll kind of go through some of the functions here. Well, we will go through all of the functions and kind of explain each one of them and uh, give you my overall feeling on the pump. Uh, so the mode we're in right now is this is H1 on speed one. So speed one, speed two, and speed three. Speed one is the slowest speed, then speed two, then speed three. As you can see, speed one is making pretty good waves on, uh, on H1. Um, H, all the H's are constant, so H1 is a constant fast wave. H2 is a little slower constant, H3 is even slower. Um, we'll go through those functions here in a second. I'm going to go ahead and cycle through the speeds. This seems to be the best place to show you the difference in power. So right now we're on S1, H1. Let's take it to S2. Now we're getting a little more movement there. You can see it at the top of the water rippling a little better. Um, and we're getting more movement in the tank. Then we'll take it up to S3. This is the strongest of the of the constant waves. Well, H1 is the strongest of the constant waves. S3 is the highest speed. So we're getting the most flow that comes out of this unit right now. So as you can see, it's pretty impressive. Again, it's in a 20 long. This might not be the best application in the world. And, and honestly, if I was running any type of reef in this, I wouldn't be able to run it. It's too much. Um, I will show you later on, there is a, a setting that I, I believe would be fine for a 20 gallon long. So let's go ahead and go into the next uh, H setting here. So this is H2. As you can see, the waves have died down quite a bit. Um, I'm guessing this is between half and three quarter power of the first uh, setting of H1. And then H3. Uh, you can see even less movement. This is what I believe I could live with on a 20 gallon long. I think this is actually probably real good flow for a 20 long. Um, I'd probably move the the pump to the back corner, maybe face it up around the, the front so that I got some real good circular motion in the in the tank, but for demo purposes this is where we're at. Um, so H2, H1, H2, and H3 is what we've been through so far. Uh, let's go ahead and switch to some of the reef modes. Um, so W is a, or wave modes, I guess is what you'd really call them. W1. So this is a real frequent pulsing action. What we're looking at here is W1S3. From here on, I will have the pump on S3. So W1S3 is a real frequent pulsing action. Um, gives you a nice ripple across the top. Um, but like I said, it's a over and over and over and over, like pulse, 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 pulse. Um, let's go to W2 here. Um, so this is a, it's a stronger wave, it's a more constant wave. So we're wave, slow down, wave, slow down. Um, it holds it out for a little longer. W3, again, even longer on the wave, and then slow down, wave, slow down. Um, so you're getting quite a, quite a sustained wave on wave 3. Uh, the only other mode left is else. So the else mode is kind of a random cycling of all of the different types. Um, in this size tank, obviously, it's not going to do any good. Um, but as you can see, it, it cycles through all of them. We're getting all kinds of different wave motions in there. So we'll go ahead and go through the, the sensor real quick that I've been talking about. So you can see across the top here, we have all the different functions that I just went through, the modes. Right here is a 10-minute or a lock. So if I wanted to lock the speed in, I could hold this lock, sorry, losing track of where I'm at. I could hold this lock speed button in right here and lock the speed in. Um, one thing I don't like, this used to have a feed, well, my 40 has a feed button on it, a separate feed button. Now if you want to enact the feed button, you have to sit here and hold it for a little while. And then you'll see it just went to 10 minute lock. And now the pump is off for 10 minutes. Um, I like the feed button mode, I just don't like the, the fact that you have to hold a button in for a little while to turn it on. Um, 
go ahead and turn it back on by clicking mode here and it'll come back out of the uh, the lock and again you have to hold it or let the 10 minutes come up um, this the right hand side is what I was talking about with S1, S2, S3 the different speeds and then there's a sensor button over here um, I didn't see it in the box this time with my WP40 they included the sensor uh, it's a, basically a night sensor you plug into the side here these two little holes and it's probably not going to show very well but right above my finger there there's two little holes in the side of this unit yeah you can see them um, you plug the sensor and it's a night sensor when your lights go off it turns the pump off or at least down I never used it on the WP40 it's not really anything that I'm really all that amazed with uh, so I've never used the functionality they didn't include the sensor it looks like this time um, so it doesn't bother me I'm not going to use it I, anyway so we're good with that uh, my overall impressions of this WP25 it's a great pump just like the WP40 um, tank size I wouldn't go put the stain in anything with a smaller width than a 20 long uh, this is the smallest tank that I would definitely ever put this thing in and I may use this in a future project and my biggest reason for that is my application that I'm going to be using it for in that project but uh, as far as tank size goes anything with less width I definitely wouldn't recommend this would be perfect for probably a 40 breeder something like that um, some tank in that range honestly my 65 would probably do great in that um, if I left it cranked up but uh, this will be saved for probably for this tank. You know, once I get everything going on this thing, I'll be able to see exactly you know, what it does in the in the tank and how I have it set up. Make sure it's not too much power. But for the size of this powerhead, it's incredible. Uh, all the uh, the water movement and the different functionality, uh, and you can't beat the price. If you guys are interested in one of these things, definitely stop by Casual Reef. Ask to participate in the group buy. Pick I picked this up for 50 bucks. Um, it takes a month or two to get these things in, but it's well worth the wait to save the, you know, depending on which, where you're buying it at, these things cost you 120 shipped to your house, 110, whatever. Um, so, picking one up for 50, 60 bucks is a great deal. But anyway, like I said, guys, stop by casualreef.com, participate in the group buy if you guys want to. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them below. I'd be happy to answer any questions that I can about the units. Um, anyway, uh, if you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. The like button would be appreciated. And uh, thanks for watching.